Hey everybody, it's Jay with Jay's Balls, and now that I have had a whole work day to sit anxiously at work and um, calm down about what happened this morning, I can maybe talk about this a little bit better. So first, this morning when I came in here, I was I was kind of expecting it could be coming soon, but it was definitely a surprise. And I can't remember the last time I was that excited about something. Initially, I thought she just had a small clutch. Maybe there was four or five eggs in there. I came home for lunch. I checked on her. I wanted to make sure the humidity was nice and high in the tub. And she was piled up so high, like a pyramid. And, and there's got to be at least seven, eight, or maybe nine eggs in there. I mean, it's a big clutch and, and when I went back and look at the blurry picture I took this morning I, I actually noticed it looked like there was still eggs in there so I think this morning I was uh, I kind of overlooked that so I was really happy to come home at lunch and see a huge stack of pearly white eggs now regarding the the incubation I was not a hundred percent ready regarding the incubator and I had already anticipated maternal incubation for my first clutch. I said it was something I wanted to do. I wanted to experience it and do it at least one time and see how it goes. Having this room that is 84 degrees and 64% humidity, I'm able to keep the humidity in that tub right now at over 90% fairly easily. So. I feel pretty comfortable doing it in here and, and the temperature is stable as well. Um, I was not anticipating this girl to be my first clutch though. And again, she was paired to a banana yellow belly. There could be some really cute bait. I mean, I'm sure they're all gonna be cute, but there's probably gonna be a couple that I wanna keep, um, at least a couple, but we'll see how it um, turns out. I don't wanna count my eggs before they hatch, before they pip. Anyways, I'll take a, or show you guys a quick look at her, and then I'll wrap this up so it doesn't take forever to upload. So, we'll peek in. Hold on. I really, I don't want to disturb her, um, but I, I want to, she doesn't, she doesn't mind a peek. So her humidity is at 93%. 82 in her tub. Hot spot is right about 88. And there she is. Coil up super high. Being a really good mama. So I don't want to mess with her too much. But I'm really excited. I went ahead and I put a little just covered the side of this here. There's like an opening on the side of the rack and I wanted to give her a little bit extra privacy. I want her to feel really safe. I don't want to mess with her too much besides giving her water, um, making sure it's humid. And I will, maybe in two weeks, I'm going to offer her food. I've read tons of stories where um, brooding mothers would eat. Now they should eat a, a smaller meal. I say most of them will take a smaller meal. And so, so maybe she'll eat a little bit while she's incubating, but if not, she, she was so healthy before she was bred, she was a good weight. Um, I think she, she'll be fine. And if for any reason I need to, I will, I will pull the clutch. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the, the incubator plans and, and get that taken care of one way or the other. And I do want to let this, you know, kind of her do her thing. I want to see her be a mom. I want to see the babies, you know, pip out and she realizes they're there and she kind of lets them curl up in her tail or whatever. It just, I've seen some videos and I really want to see it in person. Um, anyways, I look forward to seeing Penny's babies in 60-ish days and I'll keep everybody updated. Thanks.